many people who contact us and say, hey, I'd love to be a therapist like you, but how would that work? You know, I'm 20 pounds overweight, I drink too much. Um, I don't really have phenomenal confidence and I don't have a background in therapy. How could that be? Well, of course, you're going to have issues to resolve of your own. And therapists don't have perfect lives. Therapists get divorced. They have issues with their kids. They're not all super skinny, eating mung beans and juicing every day. They, they have issues too. So it's unrealistic to think that you have to have no issues to help people with their issues. In fact, clients like it more when you're a real person. But if your issue is visible, you think that you eat badly and you're overweight or you haven't yet stopped smoking, don't let that stop you because on the course, as you learn to be a great therapist, and you practice every day, you get the chance to be a client where other great therapists practice on you. And I promise you, you can bring your issues to the course and it's very likely you'll leave without them. And some of our best therapists ever started in a place of, well, I really want to do this, but I don't have a degree in psychology. I haven't got a bachelor's degree. I didn't even go to university. How could I pass myself off as a therapist? One of our great therapists was a personal trainer. And she said, you know, people tell me their problems every day. I'd love to do what you do. And now she does. We had a few hairdressers that said, you know, people tell me their problems all day long. I've always wanted a way of fixing them. And now I found you, I'm going to do that. We've had many teachers and nurses, flight attendants train with us because they say, you know, I work with people every day. I'm in the business of working with people, but I want to do so much more. I want to learn the, the answers, the techniques, the methods to really make a difference in people's lives. So whenever people come to me from being a beauty therapist or a nurse or a teacher, I love that because they already have the existing people skills. They like people, they know how to talk to them, and you can 10X that and become a phenomenal therapist. I had a patient of my own called Tina, and she worked in banking. She said, I'd love to do what you do. Please train me. And I said, I honestly don't have the time. But when I did decide to train, I called her, and she said, I've been waiting years for this. And she came on my course, and she's now one of our top trainers. We had a wonderful girl called Shani from Wales who worked in an office job and she also is one of our best trainers and has done phenomenal work. We've had people who've retired and said, hey, I'm 65, I've retired, I'm so bored. This is a great fit for me because I can train with you and I can see five clients a week, I can see one client a day or work two days a week and they love it. We have people who say, you know, I'm a parent, it's so important to me, and I've always wanted this dream job where I can start after the school drop-off, end after the school pick-up, and not go to work if my kid is sick. You've got the job I really want. And well, you can have that job too. It's a perfect job if you are a parent and want to be there for your children. It's a perfect job if you have other commitments. I've got parents who are ill, Maybe I've got a second job. So it really works because you can fit it into your life. Often you have to fit your life into your career, but this is a career that seamlessly will fit into your life. We also have people, like we have someone called Sharon Keeney who work in the city. We have barristers, we have lawyers, we have corporate people who say, you know, earning a lot of money, but the hours are too much, I have no quality of life. And I don't want to do it anymore. And they train with us and they love it. We have an amazing guy called Francesca who's a very successful fashion designer right at the top. And he said, you know, it's such a vacuous career. I'm making clothes. I want to change people's lives and I love Francesco. All the people I'm telling you about are now our trainers. They started at the bottom. Hey, I got no therapy excellence, I want to be a therapist, I'm, I'm working in the city, I'm working in fashion, I'm a hairdresser, I'm a flight attendant, I'm a police officer. And they come and train with us. And the best ones have gone from being our therapist to our trainers. And I was recently talking to my sister because we take RTT all over the world, we take it to Miami, to New York, to Vancouver, to Los Angeles, to London. 
I said, look at this, out of all the trainers we have, almost all of them had no therapy background. Now, of course, we also train therapists. Many people say, hey, I'm a therapist. I love being a therapist, but it's kind of a revolving door and I'd like to get the fast results that you get. And we love training existing therapists. We take people from all walks of life. But my favorite is the people who are working with children. We have someone called Javier, Angela, and Claire. They all came to train with me, and they now work specifically, exclusively with children. They work with teenagers who are unhappy, who might be cutting themselves or feeling really bad. They work with small kids who are being bullied. They also work with the bullies. They work with children who have a fear, who can't do well in exams and they love it so much, and they work now in schools, but also help train you in that specialism that you want to work with children. And amazingly, the, the schools are paying these RTT grads to do the job that they love so much. So many of our graduates say, you know, I've got this great job. I work in my community. There's no commute. Where I live, I find people. I find children in school people in the hair salon, people in my local store, and I'm making a difference, and everyone in my village loves me, and every day I get little cards going, hey, look what happened to me. And in fact, one of the things I love the most about my job is that I wake up every day to a letter, a card, an email, a text saying, you just changed my life. Here's the baby I thought I'd never have. Here's the body I thought I'd never had. Here's the promotion or the person I just got engaged that I thought was not available to me. But now I wake up to letters, cards, texts, emails from the people I've trained going, look at the letter I got, look at the flowers I just got, look at the hamper, look at the gift I got, or this sweet little card that this child of nine drew saying, thank you for your magic. I no longer wet the bed or bite my nails or pull out my hair or whatever they were doing or have nightmares at night. So we have that. Then we have other people who are doing incredibly well financially. There's someone in Denmark called Natalie Ryan Herbert. She's one of hundreds of people I've trained who are making a phenomenal salary who say, you know, I earned in a month what I used to earn in a year. Many people say, I got the course fees back in two months. Someone wrote to me and said, I never realized that doing this would mean I could put both my children through private school. That was a secondary benefit. So we have many therapists who are making a fantastic living. But they all say the same thing. This is a dream job. I pick my own hours. I'm my own boss. I can do whatever I want. I can be there for drop off and pick up of my children if they're sick. I don't have to ask for the day off, I just rearrange all my clients. I remember to this day when I was about to give birth to my daughter, I was in hospital and I was calling all my clients, going, oh, so sorry, I'm just about to have a baby, because I could really manage that. And then I had my baby using hypnosis, and two weeks later I would see clients again, I would fit them around her schedule, it worked amazingly. And so while of course we have people we train who are existing therapists and really want to take this to the next level. We have many people, nurses, flight attendants, people who are working in the city, people who are working in beauty therapy, school teachers who would love to do what I do. All the people I've trained say the same thing. I do this for the impact, for the feeling of immense gratification the feeling of satisfaction for the fact that I know I'm making a difference. And that could be you. Just think in a few years, you could be getting the same letters, the same cards, the same fee, but you could be on tour with me as one of my trainers. If you want to know how to become an RTT therapist, what is required? Is it right for you? Just click the link below, and I hope I can see you in one of my classrooms very very soon.